hello everyone! Izzy here, and I'm back for yet another stream! Um, this week we're getting a little bit jazzy, as you guys could just hear already. That's actually the main music for the game we'll be playing today. And I lost what I wanted to say. Oh well. Yes, um, I'm back. I'm live. I'm streaming. And I'm gonna be streaming a game that I actually got at the end of last week. Thank you very much, Epic Games, with your free games, because I really, really, really wanted this game already for a while. Um, had it on my wishlist on Steam for quite a while already, uh, especially after getting to know the guys from Bedtime Digital. Guys who actually made this game as well. They're the guys behind Figment and Figment 2, which I already streamed before. And also they made this game called The Forest Quartet. And that's the music you've been hearing for now. And um, let's uh, also show you what you're listening to. Ta! -da! The Forest Quartet. I don't know much about this game. I know it's an indie game by a developer that I really like, so I'm hoping I'm gonna like this game as well. Um, the music sounds very jazzy, which I like, I can dig that. Um, I know a little bit about that it's about a band of four people and, um, well, the singer may or may not be here anymore. Uh, it's a puzzly game, um, that's kind of where my knowledge about this game ends. Um, I'm guessing it takes place in a forest, because, I mean, it's kind of in the name. But yeah, I'm really curious what it is about. I've been able sort of to avoid spoilers, you could say. Because I have I've been a long time member of the Bedtime Digital Discord by now. And I honestly have never really paid all that much attention to the Forest Quartet um, channel, mainly because I knew I wanted to play it at some point myself. So I'm really happy that I now get to cho a chance to do so and also to share it with you guys. Um, Yeah, I'm not sure if there's anything else I should say about it before starting. Um, always happy to hear from you guys as well. Like you think of a game when I'm playing it and uh, how you are doing. Hope you're doing all right. See, that's what I was supposed to start with, asking you guys how you were doing. But, eh. My brain is just a bit wonky and all over the place the past couple of days. <coughs> I was a bit sick in the weekend, feeling a lot better. I thought yesterday and then I slept most of the day, so, you know, yay, that's always fun. But it uh, seems to be a lot better today. Actually been a bit productive school-wise, went to talk to one of my teachers. Did some shopping, you know, the use, the, the, the stuff you need to do. And now I actually get to play another amazing indie game for you guys. So, oop, I'm sorry about the squeaky chair, I really need to get something done about that. But with that being said, I think we're just gonna jump into the game. Let's press E. And I have a feeling, yeah, okay. I can't control this with, I can with the arrows. I can't do anything with my mouse, so I'm not sure how that's gonna work in the rest of the game. Couldn't find key points, so just winging it. Her til aften bringer jeg en særlig og sørgelig meddelelse. Bandet The Forest Quartet har mistet deres sangerinde og saxofonist Nina. Det er nu en uge siden hun gik bort efter en lang kamp mod en sjælden sygdom. Ja. The Forest Quartet er et meget mystisk jazzband som efter sine bor dybt inde i det mørkeste af en uberørt skov. De har tidligere fortalt mig, at en vigtig inspirationskilde ligger gemt derinde, hvor træerne står aller tættest. Bandet har valgt at afholde en afskedskoncert for Nina, og dermed give hendes fans en mulighed for at sige farvel. Koncerten finder sted om tre dage på bandets egen helt Unikke skovscene. Hm. Personligt gør det mig meget ondt, at Nina ikke længere er her 
til at fylde vores hjerter med hendes smukke stemme. Mine bønder går ud til de resterende bandmedlemmer. Jeg håber, I ser en vej ud af mørket og stadig kan finde jeres egen fantastiske musikalske gnist. It sounded like Danish or something. Would make sense seeing that I'm digital is from there. So we're walking with WASD. Okay, we are a spirit. We can light lamps. I'm guessing this is gonna be Nina, as in the singer that died. Another lamp. It makes her sing. Mm, face doesn't respond. We just went into the piano? Or... What are those? Found a lot first. Weird crackling noises coming from those things. They do not seem to react or care about the singing there. These trees seem to be covered in some kind of goop. How are you? You're doing okay? Doesn't seem to be doing anything now, does it? I'm alright. Can I do something with this thing? The tree seems to react to it. clue what I'm supposed to do here but yeah I'm doing fine
Okay, what did that do? To be fair, um, it's the first time for me to actually play the game. All I know, it's about a band who lost their lead singer, Nina, we've learned so far, who was the saxophonist and singer of a jazz band. And that it's a puzzle game. And that in three days, her band is doing some kind of ceremonial concert to... Um, memorialize her. Can, can you quickly introduce yourself? What's your name? Where you're from? What's your instrument? Sebastian. I play drums. He's the best jazz drummer in Denmark. <laughs> Thank you, Kirk. I wish you could say you were the best jazz pianist in America, but... <laughs> it's a big country. It's a hell of a big country. It's like the best pianist in Colorado, right? Probably. So, so you're American and a uh, pianist. Yeah, yeah. Some say the best in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> Do I pick this up or? Oh, I'm picking up the cube now. I'm guessing I'm finding something similar to this to put the cube on. I can't go back, okay. Oh, and what I also know is that the soundtrack is really, really good. At least it's what uh, I was being told by the developer. No, not just the developers, but a lot of people on the Discord as well. Ooh, I can fly! Oh, that's a bit annoying. Can't really see where you're going there. Oh, that's the house from the intro. Oh, I'm not allowed to do anything anymore. I think your phone's going, sir. We found Kirk's house, and Kirk was the pianist. And he seems uh, kind of depressed. In the past hour, you've had 40 Twitch live notifications. What's going on? What's going on is that you're following too many channels. <laughs> that, 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 that's an insane amount, to be fair. But it's also like prime time for people to go live, so it's not that surprising, I guess. If you're following that many people. Uh, okay. Uh. Ooh. That makes that go round and round. It also kind of clean up all the mess around here. Yeah, it seriously sounds like you're following too many channels, Gunner. Mm, 
And I think I can pick that one up. on top of it? It does. Oh, this bright white screen still. Oh, that hit Girk's house. Oh, he picked up the phone. being depressed. So, do we go back to him? So, are you less depressed in the woods? Okay, first of all, I've never been depressed. But if we were to pretend that I'd been depressed in the city, which I was not, well then, compared to my level of depression in the woods, if we say that in the city I was like, not depressed at all, maybe zero, okay, maybe one, on the scale <laughs> of ten, then in the woods I'm like minus seven. I'm not depressed at all. The opposite of the fact. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not. Okay, the important thing is that you are not depressed. Are we sure he's not depressed though? Because... He's pretty depressed to me. I mean, which is fair enough. I guess these people have been a... Uh... Yeah, exactly. He's totally in the middle there. I mean... The interview could have been from way back, so in that case, him being in denial is maybe not in denial. He's just, you know, he wasn't depressed. He's just depressed now because of their singer having died. Which, I mean, isn't that kind of normal, though? We all cope differently with loss in our lives and, and such, but I think it's only normal that a depression is part of our grieving process, although it shouldn't be called depression at that point. Just, you know, grief. Depression is usually something that keeps coming back and it's not something you can just that easily get rid of. Grief is not something you easily get rid of either, of course. It's something that stays with you a long time. But I'm not sure if we can call him depressed here or if he just is grieving for his friend. I did like how the intro was all in Danish. Should send this one to um, Charlie Fed. I mean, I had subtitles, so I know what they were saying, but it would be fun to see if it was actually, you know, that what they were saying or if it's just. A simplified version of what was being said. But yeah, bedtime digital is indeed a a Danish studio, if I remember correctly. There's all kinds of weird noise here. Oh, lamp. Uh, there's thingy things. Yeah, true. Well, it's the very start of the stream. It's just a tiny bit. Oh, that one too. It's not going on here. Wait. Yeah. 
Okay, the orb wants to come out. <laughs> it's the very start of the of the the, 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 the game, so would have to go back and make a highlight of it later. But to be fair, I could understand half of what was being said, so I do think the translation was pretty accurate. Okay, so are you going on top of this one then? No, you're not. Nope. I need the orb, but how? Okay, this thing makes a very annoying noise. I don't know. I picked it up from this one, and then this one started glowing. I'm missing something. I am definitely missing something. Another cube here. Seriously. And I'm guessing that then has to go on top of this one. Yeah, it was just that I was I hadn't found the second cube yet. And now we can join this circle. Are you going here? No, you're not. On top of this one then. I mean, you need to find another orb somewhere. Yep. Why would it give you a headache? Because of the bubbles? Puzzly type games. Now sing to this one. Watch out for the blinding white screens. Not anymore. The one thing that is the main uh, inspiration is it the trees or is it the birds or is it the bees? Birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees. And Sorry. Inspiration from that. What's... I'm, I'm too lazy to grow anything. <laughs> Sometimes I, I do fantasize that there are these like generators out there in the forest. They 
generating health and inspiration for freaks like us. <laughs> okay, he's the only freak. Our favorite freak. Okay, I thought that was the freak. Now you are Lune. Yeah, she la Lune. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm she la Lune. Hello. <laughs> nice wordplay there. Calling him a loon, and he's like, yep, I'm the moon, but then in French. <laughs> Means you need to think more. Need to practice that brain. I'm um, guessing we're looking for something that goes here. What is this contraption though? Looks funny. I'm gonna be looking for something similar to these things. That does help too. Lightly journey inspired at times. Mm, maybe? I mean, I am all floaty and stuff. It's gonna release my little QB friend over there. Well, probably if I sing to this big orc thing. Doubting himself. <laughs> and that's that's something. You gotta give some time to think about it. It seems like we're like sending positive vibes to the guy, and that's why he's like I keeps changing his mind. Proper machines, big sci-fi, cool-looking machines. In the yeah, wait, wait, wait. Machines out in the wood, or do you consider the tree to be a machine? No machines, but like I said, it's a fantasy. Yeah, maybe there are generators like this in the city too. Uh, but they don't work anymore. So, do you all have a forest fantasy, an individual forest fantasy, like Kirk? Mm -hmm. The morning mist? I guess so. Um, the smell in the air after <laughs> That's not a fantasy. So far, the game looks really, really pretty indeed. And yeah, well, I'm not gonna keep giving warnings every time I, I activate one of those things. If I activate one of those big things, bright lights follow. <laughs> yes, very squeaky chair. I know. Not much I can do about it unless you're getting me a new chair. Uh, no, I saw stripey thingies over here, which reminded me of the other stripey things we already did. No, WD-40 has been tried on this chair before and didn't fix anything, unfortunately. Oh, new orb. A lot has been tried to fix this chair and it's just... Not working. Does orb go here? No, orb does not go here. We still need to find whatever goes there. Oh, there's another light thingy over here. here. I guess we're taking the cube over here now. Loop, but Fed might get excited. <laughs> but yeah, this chair, the squeak, it, it, it's it's slightly annoying, and we're very much aware of it. But 
used to be Fett's old chair, basically, but he's got a new fancy chair, which doesn't squeak. Yes, you are, Fed. From now on, you are. And here's the weird SC. So we're basically walking around in Kirk's fantasy version of the forest where there's these machines that give inspiration. Which is probably also why every time we activate one of these that goes back to the house, he seems to gain some confidence back and less um, depressed. I'm guessing Nina is helping her old buddies to get their inspirations back. Yeah, these look very alien. <laughs> and uh, widescreen incoming. One, apparently. Oh wow, that's a lot of uh, inspiration coming out. Hey again. No fit. Sorry for being such a mess and not picking up earlier. Well, I don't know exactly what's changed, but I'm starting to feel like we can pull this off, just like we <laughs> planned it. I'm gonna go rehearse, and, and I'll see you there. Yay! No, Fed. No, no killing the firefly scanner. We got him to the stage. No, it's kind of pretty. If you think about it, that she's helping her buddies to get back together for a show. Ooh, this looks very dark. Very gloomy. Now there's a whole bunch of fireflies. One third done in under 40 minutes. Yeah, I have no clue how long this game is, to be fair. And I also don't know if it's just get those three there and it's over, or if there's anything after that. Well, I know it's a short-ish game. And it created a bridge. Can I just instantly go there? have to go buy all the blue ones before going to the yellows. There's some creepy noises here! Oh. Can we get all the way up there? Yes we can. Some of these noises do almost sound, sound alien there. No fed. No.
there's something else above us? Next one. Ah! No! Okay. Oh, there's a path over here. Okay, that's that, that's kind of trippy. I guess we're jumping down. Yeah, I don't know what that was. It looked like some kind of monster projection or something. Scary noises here. This place is creepy. Oh, and there's another lamp. Jump for boss fight. <laughs> Who knows? I know. It's aliens. No, it's not. <laughs> No! Mm, so these are all off. Oh, hi lamp! Can I put lamp in middle? Do I put lamp here? Boop. And this one? Apparently not. Get all your round. Mm, that's not what I. Doing it the other way around, it, it, it works. Okay. See? Yep. Here we go. What about the rest of you? Do you all have anger issues? No, we have other issues. I have anxieties sometimes. <laughs> Don't laugh. It's true. It's okay. I said, I said it in a funny way. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But Jean Baptiste, does it, mean, does it mean that you're less anxious in the woods? Hmm. So the first one, city made him depressed, but he was less depressed when in the forest, and it seems like the same way to go for the second guy, but then with anxiety. Which kind of makes sense, I mean. Cities do tend to be more anxiety and depression inducing. Compared to, for instance, a forest. Hey, you big leak. Ah! What is that? What, what are those? I did not sign up for fighting in a game in this game. But they have my lamp. Can 
Can I sing? It don't seem to harm me. Can I have him drop it here? No? He's following me though. Funny though, <laughs> it went all wobbly, wobbly. No, they're they're shadows. They're not aliens. Are they gonna mess with my line that I'm placing? I wouldn't stay there if I were you guys. This is gonna get bright. And they're off again. <laughs> See, they're shadows. They're afraid of the light. In the city, I had a lot of therapists, um, but still, it didn't help. In the forest, I have just the trees. No. And even though they are quiet, uh, they're the best psycho psychologist you can get. <laughs> and they're cheap. They're for free, actually. <laughs> so, story goes, Nina found this trio of mentally unstable gas positions and when we all move into the woods, she lured us into the forest. <laughs> she, uh, she lured them into the forest? That doesn't sound very... Okay, now where do I go? AMG, what? She's the No, she's not. She's a ghost. Is she ghosty? She did it. You and your aliens. Stop it. Person aliens. Can these things cross each other? No, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, this is a bit finicky. It's all wobbly too. Oh, that actually showed me. I should have done that first. It showed me the, 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 the way I had to connect the lines. <laughs> hey, I figured it out all on my own. It's way better. Uh, I I'm falling again. You mean cheats? 
Oh no, his house is beset by these ghosty creatures. Bonk. Oh, he's inside upstairs. One of them has two heads. They're not aliens. Stop it. You're freaking aliens. Okay, I can't go there. Do anything here? Okay, um, I can't get off this little thingy I want. I'm missing something here. Bad E.T. <laughs> You guys and your aliens. Oh, I can just... There's a path here. Ah! Is there a lamp somewhere here? Oh, this is... A very long line of blue dots to connect. Okay. That's a whole bunch of them. It's going to be uh, interesting. So, grab you that one. Put it on that one. Put it over here. No! I just flew through the ground, okay. I mean, I am a ghost, but... Why you do this game? This is annoying. Eh, I wouldn't call it headache inducing though. a bit finicky here and there. I really hope I'm not missing any of them. Bridge to the next one. Oh, you want me to actually... Seriously, game.
Something tells me it's gonna be a cross that I have to make here. That's circles. And grass. Bigger circles. More grass? Nope. That's a zigzag. A whole bunch of plants. Is this one of those, only one of these is relevant type things? Yeah, it is. Nineteen fifty-two and dark outside. It, uh, the PC says it's sunny. Well, it's not because it's dark that it can't be, uh, you know, sunny, as in no clouds. Singy sing. It should. At least, yep. There we go. Scared them off from this side. Oh! There's our bass player. And his phone is also going off. It's <laughs> moony. There we go. It's one of the side of the house. All sunny. Ah, you guys again. Zigzag. This should say. <laughs> the big scary dudes want a hug. Yeah, no. Ow! Come here. Give me my steak back. Everything is all jumpy. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> that dude is having his own party now. Oh, there's Oh, there's a two-headed one. Keep 
me. Got it. Yeah, it definitely could use a flashy warning. If I had known, I would put something in my thingies as well. I'll definitely put something on my uh, YouTube VOD. You mean can fix? Can you show me what you're, you know? Okay. You should have mod uh yes, yes. Oh, god damn it. But it's definitely something I'll take up with the guys from Bedtime Digital after the stream. I don't think there is a tag on or trigger warning on the Epic Game Store either for it. Or on Steam for that matters. That would be kind of Ugh. Thank you. I fell down before it actually connected, didn't I? This game is neat. This up till Thursday, it's free. Together with Out of Line, which is also a pretty indie gem. Which I actually got to try while it was still in development, thanks to the guys from Ground. Okay, why is my character all... There we go. But yeah, it's currently still free. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh, there it is. That's where it came from. You waiting for the model plane builder thingy? Or the anime looking one. Soul Solstice, I believe it's called. Looks very much like some anime JRPG like game. Dude, you're gonna want to go away because I'm gonna flash you. It was one of the 
panic attack in your head. Um. Uh, I'm feeling better now. Um, so, uh, yeah, like in 10 minutes, could be there. Cool. See you later. <laughs> Yay, another one. I added the flashing images tag to the stream. I'm not flashing aliens! Fed behave. E.T. no go home. <laughs> I like this stage, by the way. Looks really pretty. That's our bass player here. Yes, we're going after the drummer next. <laughs> Um, why is the forest on fire? Um, this place is on fire. Ah! I guess I ain't going back there. I mean, I've I've streamed short games before, so it's fine. Track of them. I just turned into butterflies. <gasps> I'm a whole bunch of butterflies. Okay, so this is not a game for grunt. I'm not out. <laughs> uh, I guess turning back into non butterflies. played a bit of the first descendant it looks okay ish it still has a long way to go to actually be a decent game though which seems to be the general consensus on the beta it's warframe meets destiny in a lot of ways as in, uh, like Warframe has different frames, The Last Descendant has um, different characters that you switch between, that you level up, that you give mods, that you basically the same progression system as uh, Warframe has. And um, a big part of the missions felt very much like open world Destiny 2, where you have the patrols that you can go on. So there's beacons around the open world where you go to, you activate it, and then if people want to do the same thing, they just join in the same region and then they join you. It doesn't seem to be possible to do those kind of things alone, which, depending on whether or not you mind that, is a good or a bad thing, I guess. Performance-wise, it struggled, and it seemed to struggle for a whole bunch of people. But that also seems to be the general consensus in gaming nowadays when it comes to the bigger games. I 
mean, not gonna say it was a bad thing. It's a bad game. It's just it definitely could use some more polish and everything. It needs a retweak, not just that. The the mod system a lot of people were complaining about because you can't upgrade your mods. You can get better ones, but you can't upgrade them. Which some people really didn't seem to like. Their Discord, their community manager is useless. Their moderators are useless. The kind of crap that was being spouted on that Discord for the past couple of days and them just doing jack shit was kind of awful. I'm really wondering what they're going to be doing monetization-wise. Do you miss the city? You're the only one in the band who grew up there in the city after all. I think I might be the only one in the group who doesn't miss the city at all. You don't have a favorite bakery? I have what you would call anger issues in the city. It, it didn't really seem to be an issue for you. Drummers don't have anger issues. They <laughs> have anger. If they don't have a drum, then it's an issue. Sebastian, Fair enough. makes you angry? Tell us that. And I guess your friend leveled up one character to 40 within the 24 hours, because the whole game is not about just one character. It wants you to go grind pieces for other characters. Yeah, those voice chat rooms I wouldn't even go into, but um, they had set their permission so that um, basically anybody that boosts the server could use the at everyone tag. And when one booster found out, a whole other bunch of boosters who were trolls started pinging everyone. So in like 10 minutes you'd get 20, 30 at everyone's. No slow mode, nothing. Moderators were not doing anything, even though there were five online. And then um, people started spamming some racist bullshit, uh, including images, a lot of NSFW stuff on the Discord where you just know that there's also kids present. Because let's face it, this game does not just cater to the. the, the Older audience, but also the, the 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 younger ones, well, teenagers. Yeah, those pipes are a bit uh, wobbly. I'm not so sure if that's a good thing. Um, the company that ma is making the Last Descendant is Nexon, which is, I believe, Korean. And I mean, I get that not everybody can... Every studio has the time and wants to put the time and effort into a Discord. But if you do create your own Discord as a game studio, at least make sure it's at least semi-safe. And that you have moderators that actually do shit when it's needed and have a community manager on there. That's a... Yeah, that... Well, they have a community manager. The admins actually at some point showed up because the moderators still weren't do any weren't doing anything so two admins logged on and actually started slow mode and deleting a whole bunch of messages to be fair not every discord has the moderator set up so they can ban people or kick people and um actually do something about these kind of things but at least give them some way of t giving people timeouts or whatever. Yeah, that house looks very cozy. But also very unstable. If everything shakes like that. And his phone is also going. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to start to uh, save that pipe somehow and make uh, water come out of it. I 
I mean, chief company of Comfy Body getting moderator team, um, from what I've heard, moderating teams for Discords are crazy expensive. But yeah, at least the community manager that is online or has some help at least would have been a, a, a good call on their part. I see stars, I see snowflakes or whatever they are, so we're going in there. I'm following symbols. Uh, but I can't do shit here. Hiya, has! Did you have to use that one? You should get some dumb like you to do for free for them. Oh, shush! I get free game codes out of it. Uh, okay, so I activated one thing. Yes, yes, he did. Yes. Well, at least you're now playing the game where that Leroy Jenkins comes from, so that's something. How are you? How was work? And welcome to the first... The, the, it's an interesting game so far. I, I just have a feeling I'm getting close to the end. It's a very relaxing, small puzzle game with very gorgeous jazzy music where you play as Nina, the recently deceased um, singer who is currently a whole bunch of butterflies. Who is, uh, it looks like, helping her band members get together for some kind of memorial thing. Work was okay, feeling mega rough today, and so that's all right. Take your rest. Yes, warning: photosensitive people should not watch. That is kind of sad but true. There, there, there is moments where you notice. Has you remember the the flashbangs from Evercore? This game does that too, quite a bit. Uh, okay, let's. Turn myself woman. So we can sing. Well, human. I'm a spirit. <laughs> no. This is what I mean. <laughs> oh, no, this one was less bad than some of the ones we've had before. This house was on fire, we're just dousing it, it's perfectly fine. There's a person in there who should pick up his freaking phone. Who still doesn't want to pick up his phone. Okay. He's the drummer of the band and he they were asking if he has anger issues and his response was... He doesn't have no, anger issues because he's, uh, he's a drummer, he just has anger. Yeah, all is good. Sorry, everyone. We need to go get Sebastian. Drummers are such divas, but we'll do that shortly. <laughs> Drummers are such divas. Uh, the Plastic Crew, MT, and the Cronos. Uh, hopefully some fans, too, and not just our friends. It's just because I know their concert has been announced on the radio. Really? Mm -hmm. That's something. I mean, I hope people can find their way out here. It's not on the bus routes. <laughs> Since I've been to Seb's place, I don't think I really remember the way to his house. Yeah. yeah this, this part of the forest kind of creeps me out. It's it's a bit too wild for my taste. Do you have a map, Jensen? No. <laughs> Maybe it's dumb to try to find his house when it's dark. Why won't he just pick up his phone? Thank you, guy! Thank you! I don't you! feel very comfortable getting trapped in the dark right now. Thank you so much for the tier, the, for the gifted sub. No clue who the person is that you gifted it to. Probably some spam or bot account. <laughs> Judging by the name. 
And yeah, it seems that these two are uh, a bit lost. I guess we have to figure somehow out that they can continue. Here's one of those thingies. You know, the ones that keep flashbanging us. That's what... Oh, uh, I need to find a circle thingy thing and another orb. And there is snowflakes. Okay. And there's another pipe as well, but I can only do the pipes when I'm butterfly. Yes. My free pet. Which one you mean? I don't know. I got it on sound alerts, Fed. I don't have Prime, so no. I don't have Amazon Prime, so I don't get all the Prime gaming stuff. Wait, am I missing something? Did I get all the pipes? <laughs> Finally, <laughs> you don't want to go there with the amount of pets I have. Nothing else here, right? Nope. Okay. Then I I just missed the lamp. He knows. <laughs> Do you still want that mount from Ice Crown Citadel? Because I can't just purposefully fuck it up so you don't get it. You know that, right? It's awesome. <laughs> Weekly reset is tomorrow for World of Warcraft, so we can go in after tomorrow again. Okay, so let's see. Back to this uh, mess here. I should put that one on there, so we can sing to this one. To make it go twirls. Yeah, as of patch 10.2, they're adding normal flying to Dragonflight as well, so... If you don't mind the slowpoke flying... And if you go to other expansions, you can't choose your dragon flying mounts anyway, so it's not that useless. That's helping these two out. I'm pretty sure it's this way, actually. Yeah, you're just missing the part where you don't have to be bitten. Rage. When he's not talking, usually that means he's in a super bad mood. <laughs> we have to get to him, man. We can't suddenly turn into the forest duo. <laughs> we just became a trio. Mm. Forest duo. A terrible game name. <laughs> yeah, but please just give me a moment. I, I need to calm down, okay?
Yeah, but the mounts, the, the, the druid mount forms are useless in uh, Dragonflight. Right? And you don't play anymore. <laughs> Someone's having fun with Leroy. I need to figure out how to get that last name in game. Uh, worked again. Leroy is a good guy? No. Leroy was uh, kind of an idiot. It is not gonna work just yet. Uh, boo -boo. Ah! Oh, okay. Don't fall further down. What? What? He was! Can't say that he was not an idiot. I guess we're fixing. We're a plumber now, fixing pipes. So playing a long time ago, but you were dwarf hunter. Then classic was classic. Wasn't <laughs> classic. Yeah, the game has changed quite a bit since uh, vanilla days. Come on, stop with the flashbangs! Seriously, game. Introduce yourself. She's what keeps this whole thing together. Like a, like a mother of a kind? For me, she's more like a sister. Oh, would you let me introduce myself? <laughs> Please let her Good in. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I play the saxophone and, and then I sing. Nina has the voice of a god. A goddess? Yeah. I'm from the west coast of Denmark. Denmark! What do you mean Nintendo's army wants to know my location? <laughs> Plumber and <game. laughs> To say not your kind of game, but to say so yeah, the sound design of this game, the music of this game is really, really good. To be fair, um, Bedtime Digital, the guys behind this game, their music usually is on point for their games. Figment has an... Remember the, the song of discarded opinions I sent to you at some point has? This is the same studio. <laughs> uh, Cloak and Dagger Gaming is... Uh, AKA Fedjin is my boyfriend, by the way. Has. He makes fun of me because I keep calling you daddy when uh, we're on voice. Holy smokes, this place is convoluted. <laughs> no, I saw an uwu car today. Literally the car that, a car that had a license plate that said uwu. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm missing stuff here. This is not, I can't do shit with that. I've been there. They're there in here. 
I'm lost. I seriously think I'm I'm kind of lost. <laughs> okay. And now you made the house bring out his uh, weird ass emojis. Why you do this vid? <laughs> uh, okay, fun, because I have no clue what kind of image you want me to make out of it, these. Hey! Hey on you. The other way around then. There we go. <laughs> from this side then. Flashbang incoming! I've been trying to follow the cloak and dagger game for the last five minutes but kept immediately unfollowing. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Bet you're not allowed to follow. <laughs> He usually streams on Fridays and Sundays. Fridays B, he's been streaming um, Jedi Survivor, the new one. And on Sunday, Dying Light 2, if I remember correctly. Both with our buddy Grunt, who's not here. I'm sure it will be okay. <laughs> Our friends there, it's all people you know. We need you. Okay. <laughs> to hear an idiot, yes, yes, it does fit. The whole band is back together. It's really getting super dark here. Yeah, and people have probably already left. We've been away for so long. Yeah. Wait. He couldn't oh, kill the rancor. I don't know. I'm just not really feeling this concert right now. Come on, sure you are. What's the feeling in the tent? You pulled me out of my house for this? I don't want to be around you two. We should all just move away from here. Enough of this forest life. Nobody's happy here anymore. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to go crazy nuts in these woods. Oh, it's a gravestone. Nina's gravestone. It's where we started. <laughs> Thanks, Gunner. <laughs> Since you left, I've been wanting to go back to the city. No. Me too. I haven't really been thinking about anything. I've just been nothing. Felt nothing. 
my anger gets the best of me these days. I'm so sorry, guys. It must have been super stressful for you. Nina wouldn't have wanted to come here. It's time to say goodbye to you, Nina. All right, Haz. Said goodbye in ten years. Hey, Nina. No, poor guys. Sounds like she was the one that uh, brought them all together. And they have no clue on how to deal with it. It's kind of a sad game. Oh no, don't tell me this is what I think it is. It is, isn't it? This is their way to heaven. I mean, sort of feels like it, doesn't it? Hang on, let's up. Yes, exactly. We're all bunch of... Stop it with the bright lights. We're all bunch of butterflies. <laughs> oh, shush, Fed. Thank you all for coming in, and thanks for your patience. Let's give Nina the goodbye. We all miss you, Nina. We all miss you. Not the moment, Connor. <laughs> oh, look at all the butterflies. Joining them on stage. It's Nina. <laughs> no aliens fed. Water calming his anger. Gunner. Like these little stages like this. Pretty cool. <laughs> she floated because she's dead. Oh, butterflies are forming her. Who says the crowd can hear the butterflies sing? Maybe it's just us.
Memory of Emma Nino. So yeah. <laughs> this is just the start. Uh, that that little under two hours. Quite short. First name I recognized. It's indeed made in Denmark. It was in fact No, it was not aliens. Jesus. You two are impossible. Even worse than has wait, is that possible? But yeah. Grab the tin for your hat, boys. <laughs> Don't you start, please. Um. But that, yes, that, apparently that's the end of the game. I I was not aware it was this short. I tend to go on for at least another hour. Uh, bup, 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 bup. So, what should I switch to? Should I play out the game or just call it quits for today? Hmm. You have pizza cutter and you're not afraid to use it. Use it on who? <laughs> You sure about that? Ooh. Let's see how quickly this one uh, give that back. I don't need that in like two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea for another game that I can continue after this one. Uh, but I'm gonna be right back for a second while that downloads, so see you in a bit. You mean the streams like you always do? Every five minutes running off to start smoking and stuff? Is the Ed your name has plenty of it. Seriously fed. Okay, so that is... Ah, that's work. Hey, that's actually working now. Yay! Hi. I'm all big now. Uh, that gives me time to... You mean don't use gum when you're... What? What? Not that bad, is it? Like every turn. Still. <laughs> it's a lot. Uh, ba -ba -bum. Not the reason why I'm quickly switching to that. Uh, allow access. Stop. It's fine. 
a game that has been on my list of I need to play this for a long, long time as well. Let's hope this is gonna work. Ha ha. No, it's not. It's Sable. Pet knows it. No. I've played Bioshock, the first one completely on stream and the second one partially. I believe I played the first one. No, I've played it completely, I'm not sure if I streamed completely the first one. New job next week. Oh, nice Gunner! And I didn't finish it on stream, but I did finish Bioshock 1 completely and halfway through 2 I gave up on it because it's boring. Well, I'm gonna play Sable now. Deal with it. Oof. Yes, allow. Epic, you're being weird with Sable. Fed, how do I explain Sable best? To people that might not know Sable. Atomic Heart. Oh god, no. Let's not... Why are you? Play it, it will become very qu clear quickly. Yes, it's it's a gorgeous game. The, one of the main reasons why I actually picked up this game is the visuals. Yes, I want to start a new game. Because it reminded me of old school Belgium comics, mainly Tintin. It's your cute to leave again. Why? Or did you often just being... Oh. <laughs> Possible? I don't know. Shit works. Uh, of course, you need to go smoke. So yeah, if any of you is familiar with the old Tintin comics, No king shaming. <laughs> this game has some art here and there that reminded me of some of that. What you do with your fridge is none of my business, but smoking is just this. Yeah, well, some people do like it, Finn. <laughs> All up to them. W A S D to move. <laughs> All right. Fed. You've got plenty of friends that smoke. This. Yeah, you do bitch at some of them, that's true. And with some of them, I'm pretty sure you've given up on that. Ooh. Door opened. Oh. Yay, we can jump with space. That's not very, you know... 
Wait, what? We can climb? I'm <laughs> giving up a shinai. Ooh, I can climb. But we do seem to have a stamina bar thingy. This is so pretty. Okay. See to crouch. If they, these these tutorial boxes are maybe slightly too big. Oh. safe to jump down? I guess it is. Doesn't tell me at all where I need to go or what I need to do currently. Hold down shift to sprint while moving around. You can only sprint while you have enough stamina allotted. We found the Ebex cam. This game was more of an exploration type game, right Fed, if I remember correctly? I can feel Jadi smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth-bearing little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? Ew. I know, I know. That sounds more like my type of hunter. So. I tell Jody that I know, but that it hasn't quite sunk in yet. She's, she chuckles. I promise you, Sable, you're fine. But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started, and then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Doing what? I remember the first time you rode a bike. You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. I feel the memory in my fingers. But then I promised you it was going to be alright. I told you how much I had loved riding my bike as a young woman. And how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down. You leaned forward. And put those little grasping claws on the handles. And you were off. And I remember thinking... Just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Jody reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. <gasps> Think I'm ready. I don't know where to start or I change my mind. I'm staying. Well, I currently have no clue what we're doing, so let's go for the I don't know where I'm starting. Daddy's story warms me, but I feel too overwhelmed to let it settle. I tell her with a sigh that I don't know where to begin. She chuckles. Well, I can help with that. You'll need to talk to Hilal and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangement for your bike, and Hilal will share something. Well, let's say as useful as it is fun, huh? I think I might suspect what Jadi's saying, but I stay quiet. I have no clue. After that, I suppose we'll see you all. This... Sounds. I'll be back soon. Uh, what if I choose? What if I choose the wrong path? What will become of me if I choose the wrong path? There are no wrong paths, Sable, or right ones. I'll be glad if you choose to stay with the Abexi, but truth be told, I'll be glad no matter what, so long as you're happy. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So don't try using me as an excuse to come home early, eh? <laughs> she knows me. Now go speak with hello. I'll be there to see you off. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Sizzle, but you know how he is. 
who have something to give you, a compass to help you in your journey. It's the same one I use on like lighting an artifact, you may say. Pick the device in my palm, fits naturally there, perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible satisfying precision. Thank you. Cute. Oh. Okay. So we don't we're not gonna have a map, I'm guessing, just this little circle around us. Which tells me which direction I need to go. That's pretty cool. So Oh, this is Hillal. As I approach Hillal, they give an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Hillal's verve and vigor, and on a day like this, I'm ready to match it, with a touch of nerves for balance. Sable, take the A gliding stone. He hands me a small, round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth, not borrowed from Hillal's hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and find it softly electric, like static on cloth. What's this? I tried to sound less confused than I am, but ask Hilal what this is. Oh, Sable, you can't leave without it. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Hilal that I feel... Electricity? Then you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is openness. Yes, there is indeed a Tintin game coming soon. It looks really good. I have no clue what type of a game it's going to be, but it looks really good. You're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is openness. I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Law claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm about to leave, Hilal stops me. Oh, you haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple, so go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? I remember Yadi's words now and tell Hilal I go and see Driss. Tintin is a reporter, though. He's technically not an archaeologist or anything like Tomb Raider is. Lara is, sorry. Also, the original Tomb Raider games are getting a remaster. No more pointy boobs. No need to shout, Fed. Heesh. <laughs> Though I've told myself not to be too eager, it's all I can do not to race up to Driss. He is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful, or has some custom features. What will it be? its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore, or will I get used to it? He turns with a bit of a start. Say, well, uh, hello! How are you? I still you have something special for me. Let's be nice and ask him how he is. I'm well. I can't do it. I'm too keen in the words fill out. I asked Triss if he might, sort of, possibly, maybe have a bike for me. Your bike? He yells it like it's an idea he just had. Your bike? Yes, of course. Right. Yes, your bike. That I was meant to that I prepared for you because today is your... Gliding? Yes. Yes, of course, right. Yes, yes, I do have that. My blood runs cold. Has he forgotten? By which I mean I arranged it for you in a... Well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. 
Think you forget. I'm telling you, I didn't. Just made different arrangements. All right, Haz. Talk to you later. You see? <laughs> Tutorial in a video game, Almeda. <laughs> Before one can own their bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. Hey. Right. I'm gonna take a test ride with one bike so I can then use my own. Think about it and find I've never heard of that part of the gliding, but he does seem earnest, sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. Yeah, he totally forgot about uh, Sable the Rock. Quite old and a little shabby. A tester if I've ever seen one. Okay. Really? I mean, yes, good. Be gentle, though. This uh, sand scudder is older than Chadi. You treat her with respect. Now, uh, ride the bike through the ring and back. And here's some advice, my young glider. Don't fall off. When you're not riding it, your hover bike will appear as a blue icon on your compass. Compass was... Let's stick it off. Yeah, this is an interesting way of doing this. This is gonna take some getting used to, or I should probably try this with a controller. This feels very, very awkward on mouse and keyboard. I went through the ring! I returned to Dress, who somehow manages to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. This, does this guy seem jittery to you guys? Sable, congratulations! How was your first pre-glide ride? Any strange rattles? Unexplained hissing? Small fire? Uh, you what? Did they just send me out there on... ...something that could have basically just exploded on me? You mean fires? Surely you'd notice if you were on fire even a little bit. Yeah, I guess, but still. <laughs> if this thing is a safety hazard, he should not have sent me on the ride on it. Was it a possibility? Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Chris, is this bike dangerous? Well, he doesn't finish. <laughs> Which one are you talking about, Fit? Yeah, okay, I guess. <laughs> if you don't value the old, you're not worth the new. Have you already been to the law? Yes. Nearly forgotten about Hilal and Tank. There is for the reminder before at least nudging him a little about the bike. I ask him if I'll still be getting one. Oh, you're getting the use of this scent cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. And Hilal's got something to show you to help you out with more of that uh, mobility you're after. <laughs> Give. <laughs> oh, God, Fed. 
my confidence in this exercise only lightly tarnished. I thank Driss very much for his help in this bike, and I depart for it all. Seriously, this thing is mine now. This this crappy old thing that could have caught fire. This asks me a series of increasingly strange questions before I make an excuse to take my leave. Um, so... Do I have, like, a menu with my quests, or... Uh... I guess... I do that one, then? Get on this fire hazard. Oh, there is a map. And there's markers you can place on it. Okay. It could have given you more than one, but then how do you progress in the game? Yeah, but 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 I don't want to get caught, get set on fire. <laughs> Please no! Please no! <laughs> I like to stay alive, you know? Fire tends to screw with that? Any happens when the game needs to fuck- Well, gee, thanks, Fed. Um. I'm guessing... Guessing the thing is somewhere in there. Oh, there's a, there's a hot air balloon. Uh, how do I get back up this thing? Over there, I'm guessing. Yeah, it went on its side and everything. Doesn't feel very safe now, does it? <laughs> I was about to say, do I even have enough stamina to get up there? Yeah, I need to go inside here. Safety is number two priority. No? Not falling off is part of the safety things. So it's number one priority. You're one weird ass winged man. Oh, there's a bird on top of his head. Hi, burbs. Hi, burbs. Ah! Well, I ain't getting back up there. Both men, this is Kenton with Fallout 76. No. I'm over there. I'm on the right track, at least for whatever I'm trying to do. Yeah, fall damage is not a thing. I already confirmed that in the first part. <laughs> I don't even seem to have a health bar. Okay, all colors just poofed. The stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Am I afraid, exhilarator, or it feels right? No colors in the dark makes sense. True. I 
am ready for Rohana to know me. I'm ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in the sacred place. I know I am in her sight. Bye, Stone! Nothing screams play me now. Oh, I've got those days as well. Ooh, all the colors came back. And I'm trapped in a bubble. Bonk. And I'm face planted. He has bubbles, but I face planted. And I'm getting abduct abducted by the temple. Um. Okay. Not what I signed up for. <sighs> oh, that's what the bubble is for. Whee! Bubble gliding. Bubbles. No, not aliens. Bubbles. Oh, there's a chest down there. That gave me 20 square thingies, whatever they are. Guessing they might be currency. No, 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 we're not doing aliens. This was some godlike thingy thing, worshipping thing. Wee bubble. And there's all the colors back. Um, where did I leave my bike again? Because I need to get back to the city. Somewhere around here, right? Right over there. He said abducted, and who said they can't be bubbles? <laughs> no. Stop seeing aliens everywhere. They're just as bad as fed. Also seeing aliens every everywhere. I'm not an alien. <laughs> what would I even be? Ah! I did not mean to jump off my thing. Damn it. Fed, why did you have to start with your A wins for today? Now everybody is doing it. God damn you. Okay, so we're back at camp. Okay, can, can this bike just... Okay, this steering with mouse and keyboard is really wonky. Drive up the stairs, Kim. Yay! 
way. Put my bike right over here. Um, this was the dude, right? Yep. Oh, Hilo is uh, missing a leg. That's a pretty cool prosthetic, though. Nice. When I return to Hilal, it's clear they know what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf, in a way that makes me miss them before I even left. Aww. Isn't that incredible? How does it feel? Safe, like a warm hug. Guess that would definitely be a me answer. I tell Hilal that I feel almost embarrassed by the perpetual warm and safe in my own little bubble. They swoon. That's such a nice way of describing it. Hilal's mood doesn't darken, but the sigh they let out holds a bit of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling, just floating on the breeze. But I suppose it's best that it fades with age, huh? Or else I might never have come back from my, gli from my gliding. I'd just be out there heaving myself into chasms. I he I'll heave myself into chasms for you? Is that really what you do? Or I wish we could all do it. Really what you do? That's not a stable prosthetic. How has he not fallen over? Oh shush, it's a video game. It works. I think about it. Why not? If I had the power, why not use it? I know people manage to keep it up, but I don't know that I've gotten... But I don't know that I've got the time to practice as much as they do. It takes a really serious focus. He laughs, even if there's a bit of regret in it. And I certainly haven't got that. Still, I suppose the gliding wouldn't mean much if it were all gains and no loss, huh? I think about that, but decide that there's already too much loss on my mind to consider it much further. I'm saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, my childhood. To lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. Okay, you're going to love it out there, Sable, even when you don't. My advice? Try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all of that out there, but... The world's an easier play f place if you put joy first. I thank you all for their advice and for their help, and tell them I'll miss them. We'll be over before you know it. A warning and a reassurance all in one. I say goodbye to Hilal. Before I go, he Hilal gestures toward the tower. It seems Sizzle wishes to see me before I leave the clan. Okay. And I just noticed I should probably... I forgot to change my stream title. There we go. Should be fixed now. So I have to go all the way up there. What is this? Postbox. Logging in. Hello, Sable. Unread messages? Zero. Have a good day. Oh, that's disappointing. No messages. And thank you. Yes, I'm too lazy to find the start of the stairs. Going round and round and round we go. Okay. More coin thingies or whatever they are. And I'm guessing this is Sizzle. For some reason, I read it as Schizo the first time. He's an outclaner to the Apexy, but I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall, and I think of her more as a kind of distant relation than any sort of outsider. Mechanists, I'm told, are given their posts, and by their training and their code, must go to where they are needed. But Sizzle has been among us so long that it's easy to forget it's an assignment first and foremost. 
as far as any of us are concerned, she is one of us. I think there's a perception among the other clans that the Abexi are quite insular, or that our designation of Abexi versus Outlanders suggests some nervous othering of those who are unlike us. But in practice, such things are more the result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us, and who we must leave behind, but all are welcome to join. And I'm pl always pleased that Sizzle did. Sable, how do you do, clan child? I think all games should have a mechanic that makes you dizzy if you spin and run in circles. No! can only think of one thing. A bit worried. Am I really getting a bike? Sizzle has a throaty quality to her voice and it rumbles through her mask when she laughs. She's quite a serious person most days, and I'm always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. Yes, Yadi told me how excited you were. Sisa sniffs. She also told me Dritz was, would be coming along to get your bike together, but I think he may have... Yeah, I knew it. He forgot. I hadn't meant to say that out loud. So the tower was just clearing my throat. You would purposely do it to see character fall over. There is actually, I don't remember which game it was, but I've actually played a game, multiple, where if in the character select screen you would like twirl with your mouse while clicking, your character would spin around. And if you did that long enough, they would actually at some point be like hanging forward, being all dizzy like when you stopped clicking, the, the, uh, when you let go of your click. I didn't know Mario 64 did, but I know some other games did as well, and in character select screens as well. I don't begrudge just this forgetfulness. Where I tasked with so many, where I tasked with so many odds and ends, I might be just as scattered. And besides, this will be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hover bike parts yourself. I'm going to make my own hover bike. No, you're not going to make your hover bike. You're going to build your own. Ho really, really, we're, we're gonna start with semantics here. Okay, I guess we're building a hover bike. What's the difference? To make suggests you are creating something, but your bike already exists. They simply haven't taken for. Really. We're gonna be all philosophical about a bike. It technically already exists, you just have to give it a shape. <sighs> Fine. The navigator. This is a navigator. You can use it to work mark waypoints on your compass. It should be useful in finding the old parts. I ask her where I might start looking. Our bikes are reborn in the ruined ships. In fragments spread apart. A good start would be the ship down there near the camp. You'll find another one up that great rock. Which one of all the rocks? <laughs> near the other side of the canyon. I guess it's the one all the way in the back. But... And one behind the old dam. Use your navigator to mark that down if you need. Need to get our control panel, a power supply, and a calibrator. Yeah, most gliders make their own bikes. Only the lucky ones. I'll tell I tell Cecil I'll see her soon and head off in search for the components. Together we will create something new out of the old. So one was somewhere over there. One was somewhere over there. And the other one was over there. Sort of. So, well, we said fall damage wasn't the thing, right? Draw the mark!
So I just got turned into a bubble when I jumped off, so fall damage does seem to have a limit on when it does not trigger. Let's go for the yellow one first. Supposedly. No, command doesn't exist. Use it anyway. Okay. Can map just not be annoying? Okay. There it is. So I'm loving the art style. Landscape is pretty decent. Controls, however, not too big of a fan. So I might try and switch to controller next time I play. The ship wants to talk to me, apparently. Smith Tanzanian Devil. Nothing of use to be found in the ship, but I notice a blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. Push the button, of course. A voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording, but it's barely audible. Stop messing about with those buttons, you absolute idiot! <laughs> Sorry, Robin. Concentrate. I don't think I have to remind you how much work it was to get this far. We're almost there. Alright, let's see if what that old mechanist told us holds up. If not, there'll be hell to pay. I hear the sound of mechanical adjustments being made. Three clicks. Buttons being pressed, perhaps? Okay, when I push this orange thing, pull that lever hard. Yes, Robin. The sound of a click and a loud grunt before a snapping sound. Oh, and Rohana's mouth. Not that hard. You've torn it up. <coughs> Suddenly the speakers are filled with static and a low rumble that gradually increases in pitch. And then the sounds of someone cheering. It worked. We're flying. More cheering. Is that the sound of someone dancing? Okay, okay. Let's focus. This thing is moving fast. We need to slow it down a bit. How do we do that? Let me check the mechanist's notes. Long pause, the rumbling static sound that started playing when the ship took off is still increasing in pitch. Come in! That lever tumbler, the one you just ripped out! Oh god, they broke the brakes. <laughs> We're going too fast! We're going to crash! We need to try to... And the recording cuts off there. Yep, somebody was a dumb and broke the ship. Okay, game. Oh. Are you looking for a calibrator? I'm immediately on guard. Saima has always been a mischief maker and taken tremendous pleasure in tormenting me. In theory, I'm older, more experienced, and should be more than able to withstand it. In practice, we won't find it here. I've hidden it. You'll never find it. Never, never. <sighs> she never fails to get to me. This last one would so be a fat answer. No! I'm gonna be nice. Decide to be gentle and ask her, may I please have it? May I please have it? She mimics me terribly, all high and screechy, despite my best efforts, I see. Oh well, too bad. Maybe you'll find it on your own, but I don't think so. Simon laughs off my irritation, but I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. I cross my arms and try to effect a change. I'll give you the calibrator. 
put out my hand, proud of myself for standing tall before Simon. If you give me some beetles! That's a fair trade, isn't it? Something you want for something I want. I try to decide if it's more mature to push her over and steal the calibrator or to acquiesce. But then I simply stifle a sigh and shake her little hand. Perhaps some of the adults in the camp know where I can find some. No! You're mean! <laughs> Weren't you supposed to be a dad and have kids? And now you go t around telling me to actually go kick a kid? That's just so rude. I mean, I could run over her. Nope, I can't. Still. Wonky moink. This thing is so annoying to handle. Wonk. Hey, yeah, good sir. Do you know where. Nope, I, I can't even talk to you. Okay, so I guess you do not know where I can find beetles. Let's go see if we can find somebody who does know. Dress! I could ask about catching beetles for the awful little Simon. Or ask about her hiding place. Ah, let's go find some beetles. There's a nest of beetles just east of here. You can't just walk up to one and catch it though. There are some seeds growing on the rocks around the nest. Drop a seed on the floor and the beetle will start eating it. Then you can sneak up and grab it. To the east. Camera, can you... So north is over there, so east is over there. Oh, it actually tracked it on my map as well. I have a bucket. What can I do with the bucket? I can throw the bucket. Whee! That was disappointing. Beetle detour. So there should be beetles somewhere around here. Is that a beetle nest up there? A whole bunch of uh, chip parts here. more of whatever those are. Oh, I see beetles over here. So now where do I find the seeds? Talking about seeds on the rocks, but I don't see any seeds.
I guess a face in this rock. But I'm not. F Okay, so where am I supposed to find these seeds? Because I was talking about on some rocks, but don't even see something that closely resembles seeds. There's different types of plants here. What's that for? A thingy thing. What are you? A chum egg. Offered up by chums when planting themselves into the ground. Chum, perfectly smooth and hard as a rock, these eggs seem to float with how light they are. There must be a good place to deliver these. Okay. No clue what I just picked up. Still wondering where to find seeds. Oh, that's where my bike is. Oh, where those rocks near those seats near where he was? I just missed them. completely confused. Team seeds growing on the rocks around the nest. Drop a seed on the floor and the beetle will start eating it, then you can sneak up and grab it. But I didn't see any seeds growing on the rocks there. I found a chum egg, whatever that is, but... You're talking about seeds, but I didn't find any around here.
Okay, so seriously, where are these seeds that the game is talking about? I really have no clue what they're on about seeds growing around on the rocks here because there's nothing that I can pick up or interact with that I'm aware of. This game has managed to confuse me in the first hour of playing it. Well done, game. I mean, I find plenty of rocks around the nest. Another one of these, but that's not a seed. It's an egg, but that's not all we're looking for. I'm starting to get tired as well, so that's not helping either. Doubt I can climb all the way up, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Yep, so definitely need seats, but yeah. It would be nice if uh, the game would actually give me those seats that it's talking about, because. And have some consistency on where you can and cannot climb. I think I might just call it a day for today and figure this out next time when I'm actually awake and not falling half asleep like I am now. I'm happy to have played the Forest Quartet and actually finished it sooner than I thought, but still. Really did enjoy this one. That one, this one looks interesting and I hope that when I do get that hover bike and everything, it's gonna open up a bit more. 
and actually be a lot more interesting from and like what I've seen in the trailers. Right now, it's it's a bit annoying that it tells me there will be seeds on the rocks near the nest, and maybe I need to go higher. So I can think of um, one of the pieces of the ship is going to be behind this thing over here. So I'm not sure where it's going to put me next time I log into the game, but I'm going to log off right here where I am standing right now. With that, I'm going to say goodnight to all of you. Thank you guys so much for hanging around, for being here with me. Very much appreciate it. Thanks for the sub as well, um, has very much appreciated too. Hope you guys enjoyed it at least a little bit. Horse Quartet, I think, was a really, really good game when it comes to soundscape, to the music. Gameplay, fairly easy. Very laid back puzzles, um, not too much of a hassle, which is probably why I went through it that fast as well. But did enjoy it, so Sable looks gorgeous. But I don't know yet. I'm not convinced currently. I know I haven't played much of it just yet. Um, so I'm definitely going to give it another try next week on Tuesday. This Thursday I will be hopping back onto Astrea. I really, really enjoyed my time with it last week. Played a little bit during the weekend. Actually managed to kill that final boss on Mooney. Um, I was planning on next stream to start on the second character Solarius I believe is his name he's a shark like critter so really looking forward to see what he plays like uh, what kind of min maxing I'm gonna have to do when it comes to the purify and the corruption stuff in that game I really enjoyed the dice rolls and the RNG in it so really looking forward to it and that's it. Um, if you guys are not following me yet on Twitter, it is the best place to figure out when I'm going live, because I tend to post it there every time. Or you can, of course, join our Cloak & Dagger Discord that I run together with Mr. Fidgen and a couple of others. It's a nice little community. Very quiet most of the times, but we do from time to time team up for games or for streams. So always more than welcome to join us there. And with that said, I'm logging off. Thank you guys so much. Stay safe out there. Take good care of yourself and see you guys next time. Bye bye.